Hello, welcome to this evening's video, which is another Sephora unboxing. But first, I am just going to do a quick review of the stuff I got in last month's box, which I have them here, you can't see all of them. But I actually think this is my least favourite box so far. Um, but I'll start with something that I actually quite which was these little hair gummies. There was 14 hair gummies in here and you had to take two daily, so it was a week's worth. And that is exactly what I did. I took each morning when I was doing my makeup and yeah they only lasted a week I take biotin tablets anyway and I take a lot of other supplements so I'm not sure if it really made you know much difference but I quite liked taking them they were easy to take easy to chew and I just popped this tub in my makeup bag to remember me each morning so yes it had in here vitamin b12 folic acid biotin and zinc so i liked them didn't mind them i don't see much change in my hair i don't think you're really going to just from a week's worth but they were okay So something else that I did quite like, I'm sorry if you heard my stomach rumble then, was this, which I completely forgot. This was in my box. I, um, after I opened this, um, in the unboxing, I carried on using some stuff I had in another box, like my vitamin C, uh, moisturiser and the collagen stuff you've seen. And I completely forgot about this and then I went on to order this month's box and I saw this was on my previous order and I completely forgot all about it and it says it's a mask and when I did the unboxing it's it melts into the skin it's not like an actual face mask so I was going to Google how to use it, but I totally forgot all about it. So I literally just started using this four or five days ago and using it just like a moisturizer. And I actually really like it. It smells really nice. It's quite thick when you put it on, but it soaks into your skin really nice and it makes it feel so smooth. Like you've just put some sort of smooth sheet on your face. But I've just been leaving it on there. I haven't been washing it off. I've just been using it like a moisturiser. So, like I said, I did forget about it. I've only been using it for like four or five days. But I really, really, really like it. So I will keep, keep using this. I'm kind of alternating. I've been using this for a few days. And then I'll go back to what I was using before. And then maybe go back to this and... Just keep swapping and changing until everything is gone. But yes, I like this. Something else that I quite like was the shampoo, which is just about finished. There is only a little bit left. Just, I mean, it says it's, you know, a recovery shampoo and to replenish the hair and cleanse the hair but I don't know my hair just felt the same really um I can't really comment because it just felt the same as it did after any other shampoo but I, I liked it if that makes sense it's very very thick it's really really thick in the hair and on the scalp um yeah I don't know I've never quite found a shampoo that I am obsessed with that does everything I want it to do for my hair, if that makes sense. But I'm glad I used this and gave my hair and scalp like a good cleanse. Because that is one kind of shampoo that I don't have is an actual 
deep scalp cleanser that you should use like every few weeks so I'm glad that I used this I didn't get much use out of this I would say I've washed my hair four times with this shampoo I do use quite a lot of shampoo but yeah I'm not sure I don't think I use more than that's a I have washed my hair four times but I actually shampoo my hair twice so yeah it's basically two each time isn't it so maybe eight washes then this is gone through so far and the reason why I wash my hair twice is because I use a lot of shampoo uh, a lot of dry shampoo so when you wash your hair just doing one wash is not enough so I need to do it again but yeah I didn't mind it it was okay it was just another shampoo really for me okay two items that I really don't like um, the first one is this Charlotte Tilbury little facial oil um, I really don't like this I may use it just so it doesn't go to waste or I might give it to my mum maybe she might use it but it is extremely thick for me personally anyway I do not like how thick this is and how thick it goes on my face and yeah I'm just not a big fan of this at all I did just use this in a little triggers video so I may keep it for videos until it runs out just pretend I'm you know doing a face massage and stuff like that I don't know I just feel like it's a bit of a waste but it is the collagen super fusion facial oil and I have got another collagen oil that I've showed you but this is just way too thick for me I really really don't like it I felt like it was hard to wash off my hands I felt really thick and sticky after I just wasn't a fan And lastly was this whiskey and water shower gel which I was looking forward to trying because I thought it'd be more like a posh smelling shower gel like you get in you know posh bathrooms I do not like the smell of this when you're actually showering it's very strong it didn't say that it was for men but it does smell very masculine I really didn't like it when I was using it I ended up washing the smell off and then re-showering with a completely different shower gel um, and it leaked in my box Oof. it leaked in my like hair product box so there is shampoo all at the bottom of it and I need to clean it and I really can't be bothered I really don't want to but I need to but it actually smells like a man's bathroom like when you go for a night out and you walk into a man's bathroom and it just smells of everyone's aftershave all at the one time that's what it smells like it's not very nice however after my shower I could still smell this on me and it actually smelled a lot night nicer and it lasted a long long time so yeah not probably not going to use this i'm not really sure what i'm going to do with this i may use it just because i don't want it to go to waste because like i say the smell after is actually quite nice and it does last a while so you can smell nice and clean and smelly but no worst product i have had in a box so far i don't like that okay let's get straight on with this month's box I really can't remember what I ordered um, I had, had to have a quick look at my orders to just remember what I got in last, last month's box so I didn't get confused I wanted to show you what I got the last time and review them and I saw one thing um, or I saw the packaging of one thing which is blue and white and I think it's some sort of cream so apart from that I'm not sure what I ordered It 
has come the same way it did before so I didn't get a pouch, I just left it in the box and I will try and do a bit of a lucky dip <laughs> so I can just be as surprised as you okay what is this oh okay so I'm intrigued to the, 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 the <laughs> I am intrigued by this it is a scalp detoxifying serum massage evenly onto dry or damp scalp leave in for three to five minutes and rinse follow with the shampoo and conditioner okay so you obviously pop this in before your shampoo and conditioner i see a lot of people using scalp serums at the minute it has become a bit of a trend and people are swearing by it that is helping to grow their hair and make their hair super healthy some hairdressers don't agree they just think it's a bit of a gimmick um, and putting stuff directly on your scalp is not really doing anything from your scalp a healthy scalp actually comes from the inside so all your vitamins all your nutrients and everything like that to grow your hair putting stuff on your scalp isn't necessarily doing anything but i did want to give it a go myself and try a scalp serum so when i saw this i really wanted to get it um figure more is the brand so far but the reason I wanted to get yet another mascara is because I have never tried an alpha product and I really wanted to try an alpha product and I use mascara a lot so you can't really have too much mascara I don't think Let's open it up. Today is the first day for months that I have tried to film at night. Because I've been too tired and just way too busy. And I actually had a bit of energy tonight so I thought I'm going to film. Hopefully it's quiet and there are still motorbikes driving past. I just can't win. My channel is just never going to be a super quiet fancy fancy channel it's just not is it so and i can't open this so i'm just gonna rip it okay cute packaging i really like it let's see what it is like oh i've opened it the wrong way okay so it's just a shop brush which usually are not my favorite but you can usually get all your small little hairs with these so I'm looking forward to trying it I tend to get less mascara on my face when I use a bristle 
plastic bris bristle brush to be honest I liked um, I think it was the second mascara that I got from the un from the Sephora beauty box the brush, brush was really 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 thick and I really like that but every time I use it it is quite clumpy and um, I always seem to get it on my face on my eyelids which is really irritating but I'm really looking forward to trying an e.l.f. product so there we go right, three left ok so we have another box oh so it's another Charlotte Tilbury product Charlotte Tilbury is on Sephora beauty box quite a lot and I actually really wanted to try some makeup products from Charlotte Tilbury like lipsticks or lip liner or blusher highlighter that sort of thing but there doesn't seem to be much makeup on the Sephora box at all it's just like face cleansers pretty much but this is a glow toner daily radiant glow solution I have never used a toner on my face and everyone seems to use a toner as their skincare routine and I really wanted to try a toner so is there any instructions just avoid the eye area so yeah yeah that's literally all it says obviously you just put it on your face and avoid your eyes but yeah I've never used a toner at all look at that I really like the little cute packaging I'm not really sure what a I guess it's a glow toner so it's to like glow your face I'm not sure if you meant to put this on before bed I think that's when everyone else tends to do it let's put it on before bed they take their makeup off they put toner on and moisturizer and things like that so. that smells like something I've smelled before it smells very kind of essential oily but also very skin carry. <laughs> it's not the best description. Okay, I'm looking forward to trying this. I might try this tonight actually, because I was going to do a deep cleanse of my face tonight anyway. So, yes, we'll be trying the toner. Okay, two items left. So this is what I saw a sneak peek of um, earlier. What is it? What is it? What is it? Vitamin Fix 24 Hour Cream. I don't know what that is, but it says something and avocado for normal slash dry skin anti-aging. It's 89% organic. And yeah, I think it's just evening primrose, avocado and seaweed anti-aging alcohol free 24 hour cream packed with vitamins minerals and essential fatty acids so a little face cream doesn't say when to put it on but maybe put this on tonight after my Ok, 
Okay, one more item and I genuinely have no thought as to what this could possibly be. Nearly knocked the box over. Oh, it's another ALF product. What is it? We actually have a face mask, I think. Oh, purifying pink clay detox mask. Oh, I'm really excited. Oh, I might have to do this tonight first. Do a mask, then a toner, and then a moisturizer. Deeply cleanses, purifies, and balances the skin. Refines the pores and gently exfoliates, helps to even the skin tone and reduces appearance of redness, improves moisture levels in the skin. The directions are super, super tiny. Smooths a thin layer of purifying pink clay detox mask over the skin. Be careful to avoid the eye area. Leave for 10 to 15 minutes. Soak the jewel action professional cleansing cloth in warm water, squeeze any excess and gently remove the mask from your face. So I have two. Um, oh, I actually thought that was an e.l.f. product. Silly me. You guys are going to be watching that thinking, that doesn't even say e.l.f. I thought it said e.l.f. from over there. I was going to say I have two e.l.f. products to try, but it's not. It's Emma Hardy. Never mind. But I am very excited to have a face mask. I don't use a face mask very often. Not particularly for any reason. I went through a stage of actually making them myself with honey and lemon and things like that. Orange juice. Um, and I really enjoyed that and then I just got fed up of doing that. And I just tend to not buy them. I don't I don't really know what to buy to put on my face. I don't know what to trust to put on my face. Hence why I started getting the Sephora box so I could try different products and learn about them without going and spending lots of money on something that might not be for me. And it's been a long time since I have done a face mask, so I'm very excited. Oh. What is that on the I'm not sure if I'm supposed to peel that off or... Oh, okay, yeah, I am. Goodness sake. I don't even know what I'm doing, people. It's got a clear film over it and I can't get it off. I might have to pierce a little hole in that. I can't peel it off. Oh, have I just broken it? Yeah, okay. I broke it slightly. I just wanted to see and to show you. I hope you have a good night's rest and I'll speak to you again very soon.